race towards mass vaccination took another step forward today. Governor Cuomo says people who are immunocompromised can get a vaccine starting a week from Monday. New at 11, Galat Malamed takes a closer look at who exactly this will include. Lori Dresco will be eligible for the COVID-19 vaccine on February 15th. I am hoping so bad I get this. I'm just so, so excited. Dresca has cancer and COPD. She's waited to sign up for the COVID-19 vaccine since Governor Andrew Cuomo announced eligibility would expand to immunocompromised people three weeks ago. Cuomo says 94% of people who died from COVID-19 had comorbidities or underlying conditions. Your body has no system to fight it. So I really thought he would have had us up there earlier but I'm just glad I'm finally in the categories to get it. The eligible conditions include cancer, diabetes, heart conditions, immune deficiencies, and severe obesity. Governor Cuomo says almost all hospital workers have now been offered the vaccine. 75% have accepted. After next week, their extra doses will be allocated to people with underlying conditions. We have one week. Local health departments start uh, preparing for it. Think about it. I'm really grateful and glad that the concerns of our community have been heard. Two weeks ago, Gigi's Playhouse director Emily Monshine signed on to a letter asking that people with intellectual and developmental disabilities be eligible for the vaccine. It was scary because it felt like the protection wasn't going to come and that they were kind of down at the end of the at the end of the line. But now they can really get back to, to a normal a sense of normalcy. Drozga still has some questions. How are you going to have to prove that you have one of these underlying conditions because anybody could say they have one of them. We asked the state whether proof of underlying conditions will be needed and if New Yorkers should start reaching out to their doctors. The health department would only say that more details are coming. In Buffalo, Gilat Mohammed, 7 Eyewitness News.